A singularity. A space-time singularity. So the universe born from a black hole exploding. Who doesn't want to be smart? On today's list, we'll be ranking the top 20 list of the smartest people who have ever lived. Along every step of the way, we'll add a fun fact about each person so that your friends think that you're a genius too. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Before we start the list, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Last on our list at number 20, John Stuart Mill. Surely you have heard of John Stuart Mill. He was born in 1806 and died in 1873. Mill is considered one of the smartest people of all time because he was an English philosopher, a member of parliament, a political economist, and a civil servant all at the same time. That's a lot of jobs to juggle. Mill was an advocate of utilitarianism and criticized unlimited state control. He was the first man in the history of parliament to call for the right of women to vote in 1866. Fun fact about him is that he had a very interesting childhood. Being the oldest of nine children, Mills began studying Greek at the age of three and Latin at the age of eight, something we wouldn't even contemplate in our 30s. Next up, Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was born in 1869 and died in 1948. At the age of 78, the Indian activist brought the British Empire to its knees with his principle of non-violent resistance in India. The British got tired of beating up their colonial subjects. Gandhi contributed to human rights in India and other countries in the world. His funeral procession was apparently 8 kilometers long. A lot of people respected his wise and caring mind. Next, we have Simone de Beauvoir. She was born in 1908 in Paris, France. She died at the age of 78 in her home city in 1986. She's a French philosopher, feminist, and author. She's most famous for her book, The Second Sex, that exposes the entrenched prejudice of men against women. Her full name is Simone Lucy Ernestine Marie Bertrand de Beauvoir. That is one of the longest names I've ever heard and had to pronounce. No wonder she shortened it to Simone de Beauvoir. It certainly saves a lot of ink. Number 17, Gladys West. Gladys May West is an American mathematician born in 1930 in Sutherland, Virginia. She was responsible for her work on the development of the satellite geodesy models. In other words, GPS. Yes, guys and girls, we can thank her for helping us find the closest route to McDonald's. We would be lost without her. Number 16, Gary Kasparov and Magnus Carlson. Gary Kasparov was born in 1963 in Baku, Azerbaijan. In in the old Soviet Union. He is known as perhaps the greatest chess player of all time, until Magnus Carlsen came along to challenge him. Carlsen is only 30 years old and is from Norway. Of course, Carlsen is much better than Kasparov at the moment because he is much younger and he has access to all the databases. But both are legends in their own time. The two grandmasters first played against each other when Carlsen was 14 years old and Kasparov was 41. They drew in their first match and Kasparov won the second by a miracle. That's what we call rising talent. Next, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. He was assassinated in 1968. Malcolm X was born in 1925 in Omaha, Nebraska. He was assassinated in 1965 in New York. Both of them were heroes of the American Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s and 70s. They represented two totally different styles of resistance, one pacifist and the other violent. Both fought hard for the rights of colored people in the United States and abroad. We can't give any fun facts here. It's not fun nor funny to be murdered for believing in your own right to exist. Moving on to number 14, Voltaire. Francois-Marie Arette, simply known as Voltaire, is an 18th century thinker and French Enlightenment writer known for writing essays and the amazing novel Candide. Candide satirizes people who are too optimistic and naive about everything and think that everything is for the best in the best of all possible worlds. Did you know that Voltaire was imprisoned in the Bastille for almost a whole year? That's good news for all the convicted felons out there. Just because you've been in prison doesn't mean you're not clever. Next up, William Shakespeare. Shakespeare is the most famous English writer of all time. He was born in 1564 in Warwickshire, England, and died there in 1616. Who hasn't read Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, or A Midsummer Night's Dream. Interestingly, he left his bed to his wife, Anne Hathaway, in his last will and testament. What about his money? He's obviously very intelligent because he only left her his bed. 
Next up, Joanne Goethe, 1749 to 1832. The German poet is famous for his play Faust. Faust is about an aging scholar that loses his moral compass, gets tempted by the devil, enjoys his life more than ever before, and gets condemned to eternal damnation just for having a good time. Faust is obviously too clever for his own good. Hopefully, Goethe didn't follow in Faust's footsteps. Next, Nikola Tesla. Born in 1856, the Serbian-American inventor was an electrical and mechanical engineer and futurist. He died in 1943 in New York. His greatest inventions are the radio, the magnifying transmitter, the Tesla turbine, the neon lamp, the shadow graph, the Niagara Falls transformer house, and the Tesla coil, which is a transformer used to produce high-voltage low current and high frequency alternating current electricity. He was clearly a very bright guy with an electric personality and electrifying looks. Hope you don't find this too shocking. Number 10, Galileo Galilei. Italian inventor, astronomer, and physicist, Galileo Galilei was born in Pisa, the Duchy of Florence in 1564. He died because of fever and heart palpitations in 1642. Galilei was a polymath and improved the telescope. His discoveries were just as important. His telescope was more advanced than others at the time. The telescope allowed him to magnify up to nine times. With that, you would be able to see mountains on the moon as well as the planet Jupiter and its satellites. Next we have Plato and Aristotle. They are two most important philosophers in ancient Greece. Plato, 427 to 347 BC, produced the Republic the most important portrayals of an ideal state that has ever been written. The allegory of the cave tells us we're living in a world of illusions, in virtual reality. Aristotle, 384 to 322 BC, teaches us about every aspect of human knowledge and behavior from politics to poverty to ethics. Next up, Marie Curie. The French physicist Marie Curie was born in 1867. She's known for her discovery of radium and radiation. This contributes to the invention of x-rays. If you don't think that's clever, enough, Curie won two Nobel Prizes in two different subjects. That is pretty much an unheard of academic achievement. Unfortunately, she succumbed to her own studies, dying of radiation in 1934. Number 7. Nicholas Copernicus the Renaissance-era mathematician and astronomer Copernicus formulated a model of the universe that placed the sun at the center of the universe instead of the Earth. You might not know this about Copernicus, but he was a polyglot. He fluently spoke German, Polish, Latin, Greek, and Italian. Next, Emily Bronte. Born in 1818, the youngest of the Bronte sisters, Emily published Wuthering Heights at the age of 29 before dying of consumption in 1848. She created the most memorable romantic hero hero and doomed lover in the history of literature. She had a really short life, but achieved more than most of us do no matter how long we live or how hard we try. Next up, Thomas Edison, America's greatest inventor of all time. Edison was born on February 11, 1847, and died on October 18, 1931. He invented the incandescent light bulb, which is a light bulb powered by heat. This hasn't gone out of date. There is one hanging from my ceiling at the very moment. Can you say the same? Next, Stephen Hawking. His theories about black holes have made him famous worldwide. If you haven't seen The Theory of Everything, 2014, the movie is about his whole life. Hawking was born in 1942 in Oxford, and he died in 2016 in Cambridge, a place well known for its brainy students. Now we're at our top three. Here goes Sir Isaac Newton. Newton was born in 1642 and died in 1727. He invented calculus, something that a lot of us hate more than anything. He also formulated the theory of universal gravity. More importantly, he invented Newtonian physics and his own laws of motion. Isaac Newton is so clever that he got very famous and made a lot of money out of an apple that fell on top of the grass in front of him. That takes a lot of intelligence. He might not have invented gravity, but he taught us a lot about it. Number two, Leonardo da Vinci. The most famous painter of all time, if you haven't heard his name before, you would have at least heard of his masterpiece, The Mona Lisa. If you haven't heard of that either, Either, you probably don't remember your own name. His other notable artworks include The Last Supper and his drawing of the Vitruvian Man. His cookbook, on the other hand, would make you vomit. His best recipe is polenta with whole frogs in it. Even the most intelligent and eligible man are hopeless at cooking. At number one, the smartest kid on the block, 
Albert Einstein. Everybody has heard his name at least a few million times. He is one of the most famous scientists who has ever lived. He was born in 1879 in Germany. He died in 1955 in New Jersey. His most famous formula, and in fact the only formula that any of us ever remember is E equals MC squared. It's very easy to say, but never have I met anyone who can explain it to me. Do you have a clue what it means? Einstein is notorious for his contribution to the invention of the atomic bomb, something that he regretted till the end of his days. Too much intelligence isn't always a good thing, is it? Smart people make mistakes too. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to see more, then subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment.